Hey, Jim Ramley here with eRealEstateCoach.com. Quick message and something to think about as you're coming into this week, you're kind of resetting your year here, you're engaged with your database, hopefully making some calls and making some contacts, maybe doing some networking, some emails, some texting, and all the things that go along with that. And that is the power of the next step. So as you're making contacts, here's the challenge. The challenge is as you make a contact, you need to think about as you're talking to the person, what's gonna be the next contact, the next step with this person. And you wanna make contacts in context. And what that means is, if I'm talking to somebody and they mention, hey, I'm going to Hawaii, or yeah, my wife's having back surgery, or we got a new dog, whatever those little notes that come up in a conversation are, you wanna make notes in your contact database, your CRM, so that the next time you talk to someone, you're talking in context about what they just talked to you about a week or two ago. If you're always focused on what you want to say and you're not acknowledging what's going on in the client's lives, there's not going to be as much resonance, as much of a connection that there could be. So this requires a few things. Number one, you're thinking about it. Number two, you're recording it. And number three, you're flagging for next contact. In other words, as soon as I get done talking to someone, I'm going to put it in my calendar. I'm going to call them in a week two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, whatever the number is appropriate, and I'm gonna schedule it. You don't do what you don't schedule, schedule it, and then it will happen. So there's some ideas for you. Next step, flag for next contact, and talk to people in context from the last conversation. Have a great day, good selling. We'll see you over at eRealEstateCoach.com.